This is Drone Fox over Webster Groves. Beautiful shot from the sky, but we have an author who takes a much more in-depth look. Meet Don Corrigan. He is author of Amazing Webster Groves. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you. It's so great to be here. So what do we expect to learn from your book? Well, you can learn a lot of history going all the way back to the engine period, you know, when they settled that area at Dry Ridge, but all the way through the Revolutionary War where they have their Liberty Tree that go, dates all the way back to that, and then Civil War, World War I, World War II to our contemporary times. The engine period, can you tell me why they called it that? Well, that was uh, something that came out of Clarissa Start's book in 1974. Five, I believe it was published, and she talked about engine country because, you know, there was a trail that went all the way to the Merrimack River on the Dry Ridge, and uh, so that was an interesting part of what happened and how it got settled. Okay, so that's what you have to teach us. Did you learn anything that you were like, wow, this is incredible during your research? Well, the interesting thing is Webster Groves has been scrutinized over the years. It has about six different uh, history books, and then uh, the famous 16 in Webster Groves documentary by mm -hmm. CBS, and that was followed by a whole Time magazine uh, issue in 1999. Yeah. So Webster Groves has gotten a lot of coverage, and why is that? Well, it really is a unique suburb, and it's really a suburb that kind of represents America in so many ways. Is that what drew you to it? Uh, well, you know, being a newspaper editor for the Webster Kirkwood Times for 40 years, I covered a lot of Webster Groves. When the pandemic hit and we were kind of concerned to where things were going to go, I said, you know, I need to use all those stories and all that information. I don't want it to get lost. I want to collect it in a history. So that's... I think it's interesting that you say that because as journalists, our job is to tell the news of the day, but sure. especially now with uh, our digital news environment, things can get lost from day to day. So tell me a little bit about the read. Does it kind of like read like a newspaper, you know, just that very clear down to earth language? Because you know, some historicals can get kind of verbose. Right, right. Well, it's, you know, I tried to make it a fun book. So I do yeah. like 60, uh, you know, uh, pieces that are kind of like historical sketches. Mm -hmm. And so they're, some of them are serious, but some of them are kind of funny anecdotes because Webster Groves has always had these really noisy controversies yes. over the years and, and they get a little <laughs> wild. And then uh, there's so many amazing personalities that have come out of there. So there's 80 personality profiles that are kind of like newspaper features because mm -hmm. naturally I derived some of that. I think I interviewed almost half of those personalities over the years. So you got the sports people, you got Harry Carey, Skip Carey, oh, wow. Greg Marisak, who started doing uh, all sports news. But then you have the intellectuals, you have the activists, you have p people that are uh, religious leaders. Uh, and it's interesting how they're national leaders. They're not just Webster Groves right. people. No, the, these are household names for sure. Everybody, if you want to get a copy of Amazing Webster Groves, there will be a book signing. It'll be Saturday from 1 to 3 at the Webster Groves Bookshop. That's on Gore Avenue. There are two other signings after that, so keep up with them. We will have a link at fox2now.com. Don Corrigan, this Thank was you. very fascinating, yes. a lot of fun. Yes. Thank you so well, maybe much. Maybe I'll see you at the bookshop. All right. Sounds <laughs> okay. good.